Pope Francis apologized to Canada's indigenous community on July 26th for the abuse of their children in residential schools run by the Catholic Church. The apology comes after hundreds of unmarked graves were discovered last year in the former residential school sites. Between 1883 and 1996, an estimated 150,000 native children in Canada were forced to attend state-funded Christian schools in an effort to assimilate them into the European way of life. There were at least 130 residential schools across the country. The Canadian government has admitted that physical and sexual abuse were rampant at the schools. with students beaten for speaking in their native languages many of these children never reunited with their families a first nation indigenous group revealed last year that bodies of 215 children as young as 3 were found at Kamloops Indian Residential School till September last year More than 1300 unmarked graves were discovered on grounds where these church-run schools once stood. The Truth and Reconciliation Commission, set up in 2008, estimated that some 4100 children attending these schools either died or went missing. In most cases, the authorities did not even hand over the bodies of the children to their families. The children died mainly due to tuberculosis, malnutrition, and other illnesses caused by the inhuman conditions inside the schools. In his first public remarks in Canada, Pope Francis asked indigenous residential school survivors for forgiveness. "I am deeply sorry," the Pope said on the grounds of a former residential school in Masquachies near Edmonton. After his apology, the Pope wore a traditional headdress gifted to him by an indigenous leader. In 2008, Prime Minister Stephen Harper issued the first formal apology by the government to the indigenous community. The Canadian government on July 27, 2022, said that Pope Francis's apology didn't go far enough. suggesting that reconciliation over the fraught history is still very much a work in progress